now we will see reverted gear trains what what is called as a reverted gear train so when the axis of the first gear that is first driver and the last gear that is last driven or follower are coaxial then the gear train is known as a reverted gear train so if we look at this particular arrangement then we are having a first gear that is gear 1 it is in engagement with the gear 2 while gear 2 and gear 3 are mounted on the same shaft and these are keyed to the same shaft because as the gear 2 rotate gear 3 will also rotate while gear 3 is in is in engagement with the gear 4 uh, and this gear 4 if you observe this is the last driven and if you observe the axis of gear 4 it is coaxial with the axis of gear 1 and this type of arrangement is called as a reverted gear train okay so we can say the reverted gear train is one type of uh, special type of compound gear train and uh, uh, if you want to find out the speed ratio for the reverted gear train then how it is let we will say let n1 is the speed of first driver first driver gear then t1 is number of ticks on first gear and r1 is pitch circle radius radius of gear 1 pitch circle radius of gear 1 pitch circle radius is what as we know all the gears are identified with the pitch circle radius so whatever the representation we are showing over here this is nothing but the gears are represented by the pitch circle radius okay similarly we can say t2 t3 and t4 are number of ticks on respective gear that is gear number 2 3 and 4 similarly r2 r3 and r4 are piece circle radius of respective gear two three and four and n n two n three and n four is the speed of respective gear two three and four right so from this if we say that is since the distance between the center of shafts of gear 1 and 2 distance between center of shafts for gear 1 and 2 and gear 3 and 4 is same we can say therefore r1 plus r2 is equal to r3 plus r4 that is as we know the distance between these two shot are same so r1 plus r2 is equal to r3 plus r4 right and if we write down this in terms of circular module then we can say t1 sorry if we write down in terms of circular module we can say t1 plus t2 is equal to t3 plus t right how it comes that we will see as we know 
circular pitch PC is equal to pi d by t. We have seen this term that is circular pitch is equal to pi d by t. I can write this down uh, like this 2 pi r by t where r is nothing but a p circle radius and we also know I can write down this like this is equal to pi into m where m is module and this m is equal to as we know d by t d by t that's why p uh, circle diameter or circular pitch pc is equal to pi into m so from this we can say r is equal to or i will write it down like this so that it can be understood properly pi r divided by t is equal to pi m this tends to this tends to r is equal to pi pi get cancelled so this tends to r is equal to m into t divided by 2 ok so for R1, I can write it down is equal to m t1 by 2. Similarly, for R2, I can write down m t2 by 2. As for engaging gears, the model should be same. So, it we are considering the same. And that's why when I say R1 plus R2 is equal to R2 plus this comes out to be t1 plus t2 is equal to t3 plus T4 and as we know speed ratio N1 by N4 is equal to product of number of T's on the driven that is T2 multiplied by T4 divided by T1 multiplied by T2 that is product of number of T's on the drivers. So in short what we can say reverted gear trains are a special type of compound gear trains where the axis of the first gear first driver and the last driven are coaxial so this type of arrangement is generally used in automotive transmission system in the uh, lathe back gears in uh, industrial speed reduction or the very common application of this is our clocks where the minute hands our hands and the second our hands are coaxial and we uh, we get a speed reduction between our um, second hand minute hand and our hand uh, we will see how this particular reverted gear train look like it is loading and uh, generally what happened in this gear, uh, uh, reverted gear train the motion of the first gear and the last gear is like that is if the uh, first gear is uh, rotating in the clockwise direction and then the last gear will be rotating in the clockwise direction this is how it looks like